guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a quick unboxing of a handbag that I purchased from a reseller here in Manila. My name is Karen. I am from the Philippines. I do YouTube on the side as I really enjoy uh, watching videos on luxury goods, um, basically shopping. It's an escape or a hobby of mine. I am also a mom to a 16-month-old baby girl. So with COVID and a lot of lockdowns, um, online resellers um, have been more active or you could say I've become more active in looking for um, pre-loved items such as Louis Vuitton. I started looking at uh, online resellers uh, based in Manila of course but I also checked um, resellers from Japan as I find them to be more uh, strict in terms of handling or handling uh, authentic authentic items so this bag I wasn't planning on purchasing it but when a, a reseller uh, posted it online with a pretty good price point I decided to jump up on it because I actually have the same bag in a different canvas so I'll share with you so this is not a true unboxing I got this item yesterday and I just quickly looked at it to inspect for flaws or anything that was not uh, described um, in the post so the reseller is uh, in Instagram if you're interested um, I can give you I'll put down the link or the Instagram handle of the reseller and just to uh, disclose to everybody I am not affiliated with them um, please do your own due diligence when you are purchasing pre-loved uh, luxury items because you'll never know sometimes um, even if the seller is legit or they have a good track record uh, you'll never know okay, so it came in this bag but the seller or the reseller said that it came in its own dust bag i don't think this is the original one because i don't know the look and feel is different from this one i purchased um, at the boutique in singapore in iron orchard and to reveal to you this bag This is a Hampstead PM in the Damia Azure canvas. So this is what it looks like. This was the condition that it came in when it was posted online. So I knew that um, it was looking pretty rough or you could say it was well loved or well used by the owner. Um, you could see that it has lost a bit of its it has lost its form or shape um, it could be the way it was stored I think it was stored like this for a long time and I can compare it with this one how I stored my own Hampstead PM it has more security because it has a D-ring here up top and you can actually um, cinch the sides if you're not bringing or you're not maximizing uh, the bag so it has here a vaqueta uh, detail at the bottom and you can see this has uh, worn a lot the handles they are quite patinaed and they're already soft to the touch I'll compare it with my bag and this was uh, I think this was produced in 2010 the interior is quite okay it's quite uh, clean there are no pen marks or any makeup smudging uh, the interior even the pocket is really nice and the tab here says it's made in Spain the handles here have some watermarks um, I'm not really particular about um, watermarks and patina but I think I can still be able to clean this up so stitching is also good the bottom is uh, really, uh, it's really rigid. It's not slouchy like your speedy. 
So all in all, for the price, which I'll put here in peso, and I'll do a quick conversion to US dollar. Uh, overall, this is a good bag. I think I got, I, I really got a bargain out of it. And I'll compare it with my purchased Hampstead. And this is how I label my bags. I use a uh, Polaroid film. And since I store them in dust bags, uh, I already know uh, which bag is inside. And I don't need to flip open the dust bag. So this is my own Hampstead PM in the damn year as a bin. And it looks more structured because I put air paper inside when I store it. The interior is also red as opposed to the beige one with the damn years were. I think this, this was also one of the reasons why I chose this. The pop of red is really nice against the damn year bin. The handles are treated leather, so it's, it's much more stiff. Um, over time, it doesn't really uh, get soft, but just take note that sometimes it can get wrinkles. But for this one, because I store it like this, overlapping, there's not much, there, there aren't many impressions in the treated leather. This was actually the first Louis Vuitton bag that I purchased. Um, back then, the Neverfull and the Speedy were the rage. My mom has a Neverfull in monogram, so I didn't want to get another Neverfull. But I knew I was looking for a tote. And this one, which was, I think was, this was in 2013 when I purchased this. But um, I think this was made uh, 2010 onwards, and then they stopped production. What really got me into... The bag was really this plate. It's the same plate as in the Eva Clutch, which is now discontinued, or the Galliera, which is also discontinued. So I really like um, the plate that's here in the bag. So just to compare, when I first got this, this was the only bag that I used. So every day, it really took a beating, but even so, it was still looking really nice. There are some scuffs here at the corner, but that's really not noticeable. I use this for travel. I use this for work. Um, I use it when I go out, lunch, dinner. It's, uh, it's pretty small since it's in the PM size. I can put here the measurements. Um, it was a good day to night bag. So if you are putting in more, more items, you just unbutton the sides and if you want um, it to be more secure or you have uh, less items to put in just cinch it and it's really good you can fit this comfortably and I'm not I'm not thin I'm not slender so I'm a bit since I'm a mom and I'm just 16 months postpartum. I still haven't gotten my uh, pre-pregnancy weight back yet. Uh, but still, even if I have large arms or I have big arm, it can still fit comfortably under my, under my arm. And you can also have it handheld. The plate on this one is more dull, so it's a bit scuffed. Actually, I'm quite rushing this video because after this, I plan on going to the Louis Vuitton store in Greenbelt. And I asked my SA if they can polish this or do a bit of cleaning for this bag. Since I'm quite confident that this is, um, this is authentic, the dust bag not so much. Because you can see, I don't know. Does this look real to you guys? Look and feel... I'm not really sold. Maybe I'll ask my SA. Um, but I'm really sure that this bag is authentic. So anyway, what do you guys think? I think this is really a good, a good purchase price considering that this is not sold anymore. And I think I can make good use out of it. And because the 
the canvas is still quite it's still quite clean i have another damier azure canvas and i can compare it with this one so this is my key pouch damier azure i have used this non-stop since i purchased it um maybe five years ago you can see that the the leather uh, the the zipper pull is really really banged up so i did i did not baby this this has all of my keys inside and you can see that it's actually darker a bit just slightly darker than the than the hampstead so you can see that while this was really well well used well worn um, you could say that the owner took good care of it but did not baby it so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already um, i'll post i'll try to post more videos about my luxury purchases especially the ones that i was able to score um, in the pre-owned uh, market and if you have any questions uh, feel free to post them down below in the comment section or send me an email i pretty much respond to to those queries and i'll see you in my next video bye